Hi guys, today we're going to use an HTML form to create dynamic database tables using URL's PHP. Let me demonstrate it first and then we are going to code it. The HTML form that you see has an input field and a text area. In the input field, we are going to enter the database table, the database table name that we want to create and in the text area, we are going to insert the column separated by a comma. Okay, let's create a user's table that will have a username, a password, an email, and a status column. I will press the Generate Table button, and we see a message that the table is created successfully. Let's check it out. In the MySQL server, I have a database named Test. I will refresh the page so phpMyAdmin can fetch the new data. And there it is, the user's table. Let's see also its structure. And we see the fields that we inserted in the text area as columns, plus the necessary ID field. OK, now we are going to jump to my editor and start coding. In my editor, I have an index.php file that contains a basic HTML page structure and the form element that we just saw in the demo. And as I mentioned, the form has an input field and a text area. And of course, a submit button. Also, there is a paragraph element with a class of message which will act as a placeholder to display any message coming from the PHP file. I have a create table.php file to write our PHP code and a styles.css file to style the form. And with that said, let's start coding. So I will go to the top of the index file. I'm going to open PHP tags and I will check if there is a post request. If this is the case, I will require the create table.php file. So every time we click on the submit button, the code in the PHP file will run. Next, I will go to the PHP file. I will connect to the MySQL server and the test database, and I will check if the connection was successful. Next, I will catch the table name from the submitted form and store it in a variable named table name. Next, I will use the explode function to create an array from the fields that the text area sends us. We use the comma as the limiter to split the string in an array. Next, I will sanitize every field using the array map function. The array map function takes as its first argument a callback function, and as a second argument, we pass in the array that we want to loop through. Next, I will go inside the callback function and I will use the preg replace function to remove any character that is not a letter, a number, or an underscore. Next, I will construct the SQL query. I will say create table if not exists, and instead of the table name, I will use the table name variable. Next, I will hard code the ID field. Notice that we stop the query after the comma and a space. We will append to the query the submitted column names by using a for each function to loop through the fields array and append every column name to the SQL query. Now, let me show you how our SQL query looks like. This is not valid code. This code will return an error. To complete the query, I have to remove the white space and the comma from the last column and also close the statement. Now our statement is complete. Now, back in the PHP file, I will use the rtrim function, which function trims characters from the end of a string, and I will remove the comma and the white space. Also, I will close the SQL statement. Now we are good to go. And last, I will execute the query. I will display a success message if everything went well or an error if something went wrong. Now, before we run the code, there's a last thing that I have to do in the index file. Outside the if statement, I will declare the message variable so the server will not throw an error and I will go to our message placeholder and echo out the message variable. And that's it. Let's do a last thing and check if our code works. Let's create a users underscore to table. And I'm gonna say password, username, and email. Generate table, everything went well. Now let's see our database. And there it is, our second users table. Let's see its structure. Nice. Our PHP code is working. And that's all for today, guys. Now, if you want to know how to use a select menu to filter database data, check this video out. Thanks for watching. 
Hope you like the video. Subscribe if you like. See you in the next one.